The Ten Commandments of Index Investing by The Escape Artist. Number one, know thy purpose. Money is a tool that you can use to enhance your life and buy more freedom. What matters is purchasing power, the amount of freedom that your money could purchase. What is your runway? How long could you go without working? Number two, thou shalt get paid to bear risk. You need the power of compounding on your side. This means you should not be trying to eliminate risk, but rather aiming to grow your purchasing power. There is no reward without risk. No risk it, no biscuit. Number three, know thine enemies. The enemy is inflation, the inevitable slow steady erosion of your purchasing power. Your cash savings are like an ice sculpture at a party. You can't see it melting, but it is. Fear, lack of understanding and procrastination all work with inflation to kill your dreams. Number four, thou shalt own the great businesses of the world. A global equities tracker allows you to own the great businesses of the world. Historically, equities have been the best performing asset class. Companies have the ability to raise prices to pass on inflation. Equities therefore have inbuilt inflation protection. Number five, thou shalt forsake gambling. The ideal holding period is forever. When you understand how powerful compounding is, you never want to interrupt it voluntarily. Looking in and out of the market is gambling. Stock picking can be fun, but it can also be a form of gambling. Number six, thou shalt not time the market, nor make predictions. The demand for market forecasts creates its own supply, yet the timing of market drawdowns cannot be reliably predicted and often these do not coincide with economic recessions. Do not bear false witness. There are two types of people, those that don't know how to time the market and those that don't know that they don't know how to time the market. Dollar cost averaging is your friend during times of volatility. Number seven, thou shalt reduce fees. High percentage fund management fees are slow death. If you buy a more expensive car, it generally goes faster. But if you buy a more expensive fund, it generally grows slower. As the great Jack Bogle said, when investing in funds, you get what you don't pay for. Number eight, thou shalt not artificially suppress volatility. To earn equity returns, the investor has to pay the price of admission, market volatility. Volatility can only be avoided by sacrificing equity returns. You can add water, bonds or cash, to your whiskey equities, but other forms of volatility suppression are flawed. Insurance is expensive. Most hedge funds are rubbish. Structured products and high yield fixed income, e.g. peer to peer lending, have a nasty habit of blowing up. Number nine, thou shalt not sell in panic. The market riseth up the stairs and descendeth down the elevator. In other words, the falls are sharper than the rises. Roughly every five years, the investor can expect a decline of around 30%. There have been two falls of around 50% peak to trough in the last 20 years. Are you ready for the next one? Never, ever, ever sell in panic during a market crash. Turn off your screen, go for a run, bite on a stick, do anything but capitulate. Number 10. Thou shalt learn from mistakes. I learned a lot of this the hard way. Most people can't beat the market, but that doesn't stop us trying. If you're human, and I know some of you are, you probably won't just buy one global tracker fund and hold it forever. Rules were made to be broken, and failure is sometimes the best teacher. But, where possible, it's better to learn from other people's mistakes. <laughs>